Hey everybody, so the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power is finally dropped, and uh, I think I think it went the way that most people thought it would. Now, of course, you still have just an absurdly high critic score, uh, but the audience score, you can see, is at a 35% here on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, I, I don't know what to say about the show. I For me personally, I would say like it it's probably like a three and a half or a four out of ten. If I'm being like really, really, really generous. Um, but I, I also as somebody that, you know, knows what Tolkien intended because he was very damn specific about everything. Uh, like the guy wrote actual Bibles for Middle Earth. I mean, it's it's nuts how much lore this guy made. Um, plus, he was very clear in his intent with his writings, you know, knowing all of that stuff, bro, like for me, the show's like a one out of 10. And it, it, yeah, I, I get that it, it's watchable, like it, the pacing is awful, but it's a one out of 10 for me because I know for a fact that they lied to the public, they lied to the fans, they said that this was going to be faithful to Tolkien, and then went on to go ahead and say, oh, actually, you know, Tolkien had it wrong. You know, dude, I'm, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to pretend that has any merit. But of course, you know, what, what I found was uh, pretty funny is that right now they're, they're shutting off reviews. Amazon is clearing out all the bad negative troll reviews. And I think that that's kind of bullshit because look, I'll be, I'll be clear. I would give the show one out of 10 because to me as a show, it's like a three or a four out of 10, but because of them bastardizing what Tolkien wanted with his works, I mean, like, I, I have to, like, reduce that even further. And I, I honestly feel like there's a lot of people that feel the way that I do about this, right? Because if you're a Tolkien fan, if you know what the guy said, right? Like if you understand what his intentions were, right? And the things that he heavily opposed and like the spirit of like, like what Middle Earth was about, right? Like what, what he, he what he intended that, or what, what he intended for it to be, what he intended for his stories to be. Um, I, I, I think it's, I think it's an absolute joke that you have Amazon now shutting off reviews, right so they can weed out the trolls yeah but that's that's bs because before the before the show even dropped the early access reviews were rating this thing higher than the lord of the rings trilogy i mean like bro there's no way there's no way that's possible right but but of course when it comes right down to it amazon loves the fact that they have these bs reviews coming in Right. And look, you want let, let me let me say some positives. Let me say some positives about the show before we get into the next phase of like, you know, it comes in phases. You know what the next phase is. And it's already starting. Uh, first off, they're being review bombed. It's by trolls. And, and you know what the next step is. And I have it ready for you. But I'll, I'll say some positives. The dwarves. I, I think I like I, I love dwarves in uh, in most fantasy um mediums like they're usually very entertaining characters because they kind of give no fucks um but beyond that like the pacing is really 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 bad um the the action scenes um uh, in the first episode it's fucking atrocious The, the second one, I mean, like, it's it's better than the Galadriel fight. <laughs> it's better than that, but, like, it's still nothing that I would write home about. And, and the the Harfoots, you know, the, the Hobbit substitutes or whatever, bro, they are annoying as fuck. <laughs> they suck. And then, that, I mean, then you go into the main character of the show, who's Galadriel. And look, I get, I 100% can understand the notion that, oh, you know, she's got to grow to be that character. She's got to grow into who she is in the, uh, in the, in the, in the film trilogy. But here's the problem. 
if the character has no redeemable qualities and is such a big turnoff to the audience, nobody is going to be invested in seeing that character grow. Look, you can have a character who is completely just a monster, but by like giving them some charm in their actions or, or making them compelling, the thing is, I don't want to watch Galadriel. Like, I, I want... I want her to just get run through with a sword and I want us to just move on. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. Like, she's really annoying. And she'll probably improve. You... But let's be honest. No, no, actually, I take that back. She's not going to. Like, why, why do I even say that? Okay, guys. All right. We're, we're, you ready for it? You ready for it? Okay, so what was it? Well, how, how, do we, how does this uh, game start, right? Uh, they First off, Amazon gets brand. Then uh, Amazon gaslights the fan base. Then Amazon claims that because people don't like the show, it's being review bombed. And now we're in phase four. This is phase four, right? They're going to accuse us of being racist. The Rings of Power star Lenny Henry implies critics of Amazon's race swapping are racist. They have no trouble believing in a dragon, but can't accept that a black person could be a hobbit or an elf. I, bro. Actually, Lenny, you 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 absolute idiot. You're completely wrong. I fully accept that you could have a black elf or a black something that resembles a hobbit. But actually, you're right. It wouldn't be a hobbit. Dude, that's not what Tolkien wanted. Like, I'm sorry, man. I, I saw someone post on Twitter. I've been waiting my whole life to see a character in, in Tolkien that represents me. I'm like, you've been waiting your entire life for what? the fuck is wrong with you like these people like value their racial identity over literally everything else it's so weird and creepy to me it's so fucking weird and creepy to me but i guess that's like really all this guy has to say about the show right i mean is there really any positive to this show is there anything anyone can think of other than the dwarves other than the dwarves i'm sorry dwarves i'm sorry that i'm so sorry that dwarves, the best fantasy creatures, and I call them creatures, yes, I understand that they are a race, but just fuck off. But I guess I can't stand that they have ruined dwarves by, by attaching them to all this other clusterfuck of bullshit. And look, I'll, I'll be real with you guys, right? Yes, I understand the Hobbit films. Yeah, the, the Hobbit films are, are not good. Uh, but like, bro. It's nowhere near as bad as this shit. It's nowhere near as bad. Okay, let's 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 see what he has to say. Let's see if I can get through the whole article this time because honestly, when they bitch and they cry, bro, at a certain point, you kind of just want to say fuck you and like tune out. Like so many before him who have defaulted to the same tired excuse in order to defend any number of live action Hollywood adaptations from criticisms against a given project's bastardization. Uh, you know, Spencer, I, I appreciate your articles on Batting Into Comics, but for us, a little fucking wordy for the opening sentence. Like, uh, I mean, you need to break up. The, is this one long sentence? Bro, it's in a, it, it's a, it's not a long paragraph, but like, this is all one long sentence. I'm not even going to read it. I already failed my challenge. The comedian who portrays the non-Hobbit Hobbit... Hobbit <laughs> Okay, that was actually clever. I, I give it back to Spencer. I'm sorry, Spencer. I shouldn't have insulted you. That was good. The comedian who portrays the non-Hobbit Hobbit, Zadok Burroughs, in Amazon's multi-million dollar swinging... <laughs> swinging this. Right, he's taking all the shots. Offered his thoughts on critics of the series changes to Tolkien's dutifully and explicitly crafted world during a recent interview given to GQ. Again, like the Harfoots are the worst part. Second to Gladiator. <laughs> Second, second only to her, right? No, no one's take, no one's taking that queen's crown. Prompted to address the subject by GQ associate digital editor Ben Allen's inquiry of what made you want to get involved in the Rings of Power, Henry Henry bluntly began, "I love fantasy. I've been reading comics since I was nine. He recalled. Tolkien was from Birmingham, and the Shire is based on the Licky Hills in Birmingham. It all feels very much like something to me." Uh, Okay, I'm like, bro, I'm sorry. However, despite feeling his connection to Lord of the Rings, Henry n then noted that often when you're watching these things, you don't see yourself as a black person. But what's interesting about this being told from a 21st century perspective, things are being reconfigured, and I like that. I fucking hate it. 
You know, I really do. I absolutely do. Dude, just make your own fantasy series. Oh, I love Tolkien. Oh, I love the Shire. Oh, I'm black. Oh, I want, I want, I want. Bro, just make your own thing. Oh my God. Oh my fucking God. No, it, it really sucks about these actors, right? It's like they, they, they talk about these projects, which they don't give a shit about. Right. And then they sit there and go on and on and on about how, oh, I used to love it, but I could never see myself. Then you didn't love it. Oh, man, I hate this. I really do. How can you say you love something and then go on to criticize? But it made me feel like I wasn't being included. Bro, I swear, hand to God, hand to God. Growing up, I never read Spider-Man go, Ew, it doesn't feel included because of none of the Muslims. I never did that shit. Bro, that's pathetic. That's low. That That's really low. That's like on the bottom, like just crawling on the fucking glass. I agreed to be in the show because maybe some kid will be watching this one day and they'll see co-stars Ismael Cruz Cordova, Cordova and Sophie Novet. I, I, I'm terrible with names. I, I that's, that's not me insulting them. I'm just bad with names. And they'll see me and go, yeah, I can wield a sword. Yeah, I can. Bro, no shit. I watched Lord of the Rings and I never said, oh gosh, if only I, if only he was, if only he was half, half like eighth generation Irish and, and Palestinian. Oh, if only he was that. Because he wasn't that, I just, I can't even understand what it's like to hold a sword. Bro, okay, like. Oh my gosh, all the anime that I watch, all the animu, right? And just go around and go like, oh gosh, if only, uh, I, I loved it. Oh God, what's what's an anime that's not gonna get me like fucking yeeted? Uh, oh, hold on guys, let me think a second. If only Chainsaw Man had Arabs in it. If only, if only the main character was half Palestinian and still wanted to just fuck all the bitches. If, if this were a different author, if this were a different work of fiction that just wasn't as conclusive and, and didn't have so much uh, that, that Tolkien put into it, then you could get away with like race swapping and changing shit. If you want with something more modern, you could do it and, and the author might even support you doing it, right? Like George R. R. Martin gives no shits when people change his canon because he's just there to cash a fucking check. But no, you, you go for Lord of the Rings, right? You go for that, you disregard what the author's original intent is, and then you have the fucking audacity to sit there and say, oh, well, but you have to understand, I'm such a huge Tolkien fan. The only way that I could enjoy it anymore is if I could see myself as f then then just piss off. I I, I it's it's it, let's just be real. You you just you just want to take part in the big like almost billion dollar Amazon project. It's good for your name recognition. It's good for your career. But but this idea that you're this like raging fucking Tolkien fan and you somehow like missed everything the man said and why he would think that this show is just a fucking travesty. I don't know guys, I, I don't even have the ability to make it through the rest of the article, but like why, why do you need me to, right? Cause you already know what this is. This is phase four. It all comes in phases. It's always the same thing. They produce shit show. They get reviews based on it being a shit show. They turn around and they say they're being review bombed and then they say you're racist or you're sexist or you're a mixture of both.